Hey guys, welcome to uh, the Aftermath and we're going to review the game. I'm joined here by the legend himself, Kenny Ken. How are you, mate? Silly question. What an awful Arsenal display, wasn't it? Well, I, I have I've stopped drinking um, nine years ago. Right now, I feel like a drink. I feel like going to one of the local pubs and ordering five, about five pints of Stella Artois. I feel like getting absolutely pissed. I am so angry. I mm. am so angry. This that there's a lot of performances, right? Where you say that performance crossed the line. That performance one of the worst experience I've had supporting Arsenal. That performance was a total disgrace and a never disgrace. I never want to see it again. Well, today was no exaggeration. That performance crossed the line, Tom. Everything was wrong about that performance. You know, the only time we actually dominated the game was when we kicked off in yeah. the first half. Apart from that, the minute Brentford got in their faces, we made mistake after mistake. We started, Pepe, you know, did well today. Okay. Tierney worked his nuts off. And, you know, um, Smith Rowe worked his nuts off. I can't say that about other players. I'm going to give no. Balogun a bye because, because, of his, because of his youth. But, there, you know, the rest of them, I'm not having it. I'm not having that performance from Mari. That's unacceptable. Chambers, I'll deal with him later. And that's for Leno. That, that, that is unacceptable. Xhaka, mm. if people call Xhaka a midfield, then, not, you know, then they're, they're having a joke here. The scribes on social media, and, in, and I'm not just talking about Twitter, I'm talking on their YouTube channels, yeah. wax lyrical about Xhaka because of his performance five, year, five weeks ago in the Euros against France. Well, I'm sorry. Today, we needed our le a leader out there. And he was no leader. First half, we were struggling. We needed him to try and win the midfield. He got bossed out of the midfield by Brentford. Mm. And in the second half, we were trying to get a goal. We needed Jacker to play in the number eight role and create some um, ch you know, chances for Balogun in the front three. That's what we needed, Jacker. What do we get? Nothing. Nothing. Mm. If that if that if that is how you sign off, you know, from signing, you know, getting a new contract offer and you put in that performance, then you're taking a Mickey out of the club. That's not acceptable. Mate, it, it's it's ridiculous. So so Kenny, for, for yourself, mate, why were we not ready for the start of the Premier League, mate? We should be ready. We should be ready, Tom. We should be ready. Mm -hmm. We've had we had enough we had the preseason. A lot a majority of our squad weren't playing the Euros. They were fresh. We had two plastic, <clears throat> plastic, you know, sorry, practice games against mm. Millwall and Watford. Then we had, you know, the mind series against two competitive, strong sides in Chelsea and Tottenham who played their stronger side. And then we had the, you know, the games in Scotland where we played Havani, who were preparing for the Scottish Premiership, and we played Rangers. Now I don't take any notice of preseason football because I just see it as a way, of get, you know getting your fitness and making sure you're sharp for today. But I should have taken notice because people were telling me before, you know, I watched the Spurs game yeah, and, and I was I was astonished by what I was seeing. But they were telling me it's the same old, same old, Ken. They were telling me that there was no definable style of play. We were still making the same mistakes defensively and we had no creativity up front. I couldn't, and when I saw the Spurs game, I, think, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. But I had hopes for today. Because mm. it's Brentford, because we've got no margin for error. The standards I'm set for this football club, and that's the minimum, is the top four. Which yeah. means we can't even afford to draw these guys. So I was looking to win this game. It, it, it's embarrassing. It's shocking. I mean, I don't know where to start. Um, you, you're up against Brentford. They've not been in the Premier League ever. It, they're the 50th club. Um, you know, at the end of the day, they're a London club. It is technically a London derby. I expected so much more from the lads, and it was embarrassing. I mean, for you, Kenny, what is missing right now from our club, the club that we love? I'll, I'll tell you what's missing is standards. The standards are so low, and I think the fans, the fans have to take some sort of brunt of this. Mm. They talk a good game, but they're feeling... You know, like I said they have all these philosophies. You know, they're philosophical about our lot. I yeah. mean, they're still celebrating winning the the league. You know, having a gold trophy. You know, the Invincibles. 
They, you mm. know, they use that in any argument, and they they need to move on from the invincibles. We need to set some high standards. We because yeah. the end of the day, Cronky works for me. Arteta works for me. Smith Rowe and all his players work for me. I set the mm. standards, and I, my standards are. If I'm supporting a big club like Arsenal, we have to challenge. And we have to, and the minimum is the top four. Nothing exactly. else to do. This is Arsenal standards. I don't support Portsmouth, but other fans need to do that. They had a chance, you know, during the Brighton game to actually let Josh know what the situation is and say, we're not happy with finishing eight, that we want you to now be more proactive in the transfer market and set the highest standards for all the players and the managers. And what they did, what did they do? They were taking selfies and crying yeah. because they had been a game for a while. That is not that is not being a supporter. People think being a supporter is win, lose, or draw, or dare I say, you know, like I said, um, draw, win, lose, everyone on the booze. Yeah. That's not a supporter. A supporter is demanding the highest standards and record and proving that these players work for you. And if you've yeah. got the best interest of the football club at heart, which I do, then you have to demand higher standards. You shouldn't 100%. you shouldn't have a situation where you're putting player before the club, manager yeah. before the club. Arteta hasn't got no time. You you what he manages Arsenal. Arsenal have to be in a Champions League every year. They have to change every year. Mm. And until Arsenal fans and the board accept this, then we're going to have supporters like that. But let's talk about the football match because I could talk about standards all day long. But a football match happens, and if we look at the goals, Chambers, poor clearance, and yeah. then he shows he shows Canos on his right foot. You meant you meant to show a right footed player on the left foot. That's basic defending. And then straight afterwards, you know Ben White's done his job. He's basically stopped um, Embuemo from going left foot. But Mari is just standing there and letting him have the shot with his right foot. He's, he's you know, like a statue. Yeah. He's like a statue. And the second goal is pathetic. What the hell is going on? It's you, all my like, stuff, Kenny. Yeah, but it, even so, the ball bounced. You don't let the ball bounce in the area. You clear it. And, yeah. you, and, and they shouldn't have three or four goals to put the ball in the net. Mm. It was a free header. Three players could have put that ball in the net. I, is... I just feel for for me, mate. I just feel that if if a Sol Campbell was watching this, uh, Lee Dixon, you know Steve Bold, they'd be embarrassed watching our defence at the moment. It's scored by errors, but it's the errors every single time. The same things over and over again. Yeah, the, thing, the thing is, Tom. Sorry, to cut you in. The thing is, Tom, fine. is that these we were told that after Boxing Day when we beat Chelsea, that we had the third best defence mm. in the Premiership. So, in terms of our form, that is Champions League form, albeit too late. Yeah. And then if you look at our, our results towards the end of last season, of, of course, these games meant nothing. We were winning games. Pepe scored five goals in three games. So, in mm. terms of premiership form, oh, you know, they should be ready. This is yeah. Brentford. Brentford are playing in the championship. Yes, they've got players who played in the Euros for Denmark. And, you know, and Bremo, you know, is, isn't a French international. Ivan Tony had his chance at Newcastle, was taking his second bite of cherry now, and he was the man in the match. But come on, it's a London derby. I mean, mm. didn't it occur to Arsenal that Brentford were going to be at it? Yeah. I mean, what's this, wrong with these players? This can't be a game where we can just think they're going to roll over and accept defeat. This is a game where these guys, they've never been in the Premier League, they're up for it, they're thriving, they're ready and they're ready to cause an upset. And guess what? The upset, like always, it's against our beautiful football club. And but, I'm but, yeah, but, 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 but does anyone is anyone scared of Arsenal? They're Arsenal not. Scared no one. But they should be. But the thing about it is yeah. that we've got a bigger elephant in the room now. Because regardless of the fact that Abami and Lacazette didn't play, mm. Arteta has got until Bank Holiday Monday to save his job. Because yeah. it doesn't matter that we're playing European champions. And the league champions. Tough luck. The fact of the matter is, is that it's not about the results. It's about salvaging what's left our season. Now, we've got to be in the top four this season. Now, we're not going to do what we did with Ilya Emery and wait till the 28th of November to sack him. And then we've got, we can't, which means we've basically given up all hope of getting the top four. We yeah. have to act quickly if results don't improve. So he has to 
back his ideas that if we lose, and it's Chelsea and Man City, he has to go. I don't care yes, whether it's a chance window or whether he's got his targets. Tough luck. His targets mm. will be another manager's targets. I'm not going to waste any more time. We have to be in the top four this season. The bare minimum. We should be challenging. I want to set yeah. people saying sixth place. This is, no. It, and say well, anyone with six, sorry. I, if, mm-hmm. you don't, if you want to set up a sixth place and keep your precious manager, then you don't, then you're not, you don't have got the best interest of the football club at, at heart. That's, that's all. I'll leave it like that. Arsenal's got to come first. Yeah. Not your egos, not your, you know, your journalistic ambitions or your slot on talk sport or, or sky. It's about putting this football club first. The football yeah. club came before your journalistic ambitions and it came before your slot on sky and your slot on talk sport. Arsenal always has to come first. Facts, mate. Facts. You you can't change your football club 100%. And do you know what? At the end of the day, we we cannot. It's non-negotiable. Top four has to be the aspiration. It has to be. It has to be. If, if we, what we're here for. What we're here for. We've got to be playing it's the Champions League. Where, where, where do we go from here? In your eyes, mate, where do we go from well, here? Well, well, where, we where we go from here is that we go on, we'll, we'll analyse what went wrong, and prepare to Chelsea and raise their game. Now, we're going to raise the game because it's Chelsea and because we're at home with 560,000 fans. But we have to win to, against Chelsea. We have to win. And then, mm. we, and then we have to win against Man City. I don't care what people say. Oh, but it's Man City. Well, sorry. Arsenal are a big club. And big clubs yeah. should be able to go to places like the Etihad, play Chelsea at the Emirates as equals. Mm. Now, if you if you if you if Arsenal Football Club are accepting their lot and accepting the fact that Chelsea and Man City should row well them, then we've got a massive problem at this club. We've got Man, a massive problem. That that's where it winds me up to an absolute T. When we go to the likes of a Man City, a Chelsea, a Man United, and and our fans are happy with a draw. We're Arsenal Football Club. We have history. We are through and through. We don't mm. accept a draw. We don't accept a loss. We have to go and win. That's exactly. the fact. We've got no margin, margin, margin for error. You know, we know that Leicester are strong. We know yeah. that Liverpool are strong. We know that Man United have improved and they're going to be very strong this season. We, we've got Chelsea with the outlay from Lukaku and we've got Man City who are going to get Harry Kane. We know they're going to be strong, which means yeah. we have to win games like Brentford away. We have to make sure that we, the Emirates is a fortress in order to sneak in to the top four. And I don't call it sneaking, mm. but people are going to call it sneaking, but get in there, which means we can't yes. drop points like this. It, it's a joke. Well, listen, for me, Kenny, this feels to me like it's three points away from the top four already. Um, it, it's not a game that I'm proud of. It's a game that I want to forget. Um, if anything, it's been great to great to talk to you. I can't wait to meet up for a proper, proper drinking. We'll see you next, Sunday. The next Sunday. I'm at the Emirates next Sunday for the match. Same, mate. I'm taking a little boy, mate. So I'm looking forward to meeting you well, properly. Ho- hopefully, hopefully, you, your little boy won't won't um, have a horrible experience like he, like we had today. Don't, mate. We're, we're right by the goal in the uh, the adult and kids section. Well, what he'll probably see. Don't is swear Lukaku. in front of your little boy, mate. I won't, mate. But he's probably going to see Lukaku score a hat trick and want to be in a, a Chelsea. No, fan. no, 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 mate. Uh, you know, you're not going to let you know, happen. What, if, what you've got to do is like. Get a handkerchief, wipe your brow, and then we, we, we get ready for next Sunday. You know what I mean? <laughs> Top, man. Anyway, great to see you, mate. I'll see you see very you soon. soon. See you on Sunday, Definitely. mate. Speak soon, mate. Speak soon, yeah, Tom. Take care, buddy. Thank Bye. you, Kenny.